distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and thank you for inviting me to the Asia-Pacific Agri-Food Innovation Summit this year. Much has changed since we last met in 2019. The COVID-19 pandemic made us rethink how we work, live and play. Supply chains globally were disrupted as borders closed. Business resilience became much more important than the ability to move goods efficiently. Many accelerated their digitalization plans and rent online. In the meantime, online food delivery, live streaming of fresh food and takeaways became the new norms as we stay at home. We also paid much more attention to our personal hygiene, food safety and impact on the environment. Many may see this as a threat to our usual way of lives. It is, however, an opportunity for everyone, including Singapore, to rethink how we can build a resilient, sustainable and safe future food system to meet our food security needs. To succeed, there are three important ingredients, what I call the three R's. The first R is R&D innovation. We need to innovate to increase local food production in a sustainable manner. The second R is regulations. We need to adapt our policies nimbly to take advantage of new growth opportunities as they emerge. And the final R is right-skilling our workforce. We need to build capabilities and capacity to take on new opportunities in urban agriculture, tropical aquaculture, agri-tech, food safety and food science. On the first R, the COVID-19 pandemic underscored the importance of local production of safe food. R&D innovation is a key enabler. Given its resource constraints, it is important for Singapore to innovate and develop less resource-intensive production methods. This will allow us to work towards our 30 by 30 goal, which is to grow enough food in Singapore to meet 30% of our nutritional needs by 2030 in a sustainable manner. Singapore will continue our efforts on food research and innovation. We have set aside 144 million for the Singapore Food Story R&D program under the government's research, innovation and enterprise plan. The Singapore Food Agency and ASTAR have launched grant calls on sustainable urban food production and alternative protein seed challenge. We look forward to announcing the results in the coming months. To further strengthen our food security amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, the Singapore Food Agency launched the 30 by 30 Express Grant Call earlier this year. The grant supports proposals which incorporate highly productive farming systems that can be constructed and implemented quickly. In September, 39.4 million was awarded to nine companies. One of the grant recipients is Indoor Farm Factory Innovation or IFFI in short. Using a combination of sensors, condition monitoring and artificial intelligence software, IFFI is able to achieve optimal growing conditions all year round. Innovative water treatment system also reduces bacteria count, improves yield rate for its crops and extends the shelf life of its produce. I hope to see more of such innovative ideas sprout and grow. In October, the Singapore Food Agency announced plans to transform Lim Chu Kang into a high-tech agri-food cluster. When completed, the cluster is envisioned to produce more than three times its current fruit production. At present, an average vegetable farm in Singapore occupies around two hectares of land and produces about 130 tonnes per hectare per year. Besides agri-farms, Singapore is also deepening our capabilities in aquaculture production. The Singapore Food Agency runs the Marine Aquaculture Centre, or MAC in short. MAC has been collaborating with the industry on various research projects since 2003. More can be done as we bring innovation upstream. With this in mind, the Singapore Food Agency established a new feed trial facility at the MAC to catalyze research on fish nutrition and feed development. We aim to develop quality feeds that promote healthy growth of locally farmed fish. The new feed trial facilities at MAC will place Singapore in a better position to be an aquaculture technology hub in the region. Turning to the second R, policies often play catch up 
as the industry innovates and new business models emerge. As we explore new agri-food and production capabilities, there is a need to create and maintain a robust and conducive regulatory environment to capitalize the development of a vibrant agri-food sector. At the same time, it is important to ensure that these innovations and new food products are safe for consumption. As part of our continued efforts to proactively review and update regulations, the Singapore Food Agency and Enterprise Singapore launch an industry guide to provide companies in the farming industry with one consolidated knowledge resource. This was developed in consultation with key industry players, including the Singapore Agrofood Enterprises Federation Limited, to help companies better understand and navigate the regulatory landscape in Singapore. We hope that companies will find this guide useful as they capture opportunities in this exciting growth sector valued at approximately 5 trillion Singapore dollar globally. The alternative protein industry is growing exponentially. Major brands have expanded into Singapore, joining our local plant-based and cell-based startups such as NextGen and Shop Meats. Eat Just, a California-based food technology company, for example, has announced that it will be building a 120 million US dollar plant protein production facility here. In 2019, SFA introduced a regulatory framework for novel foods to guide food businesses on how to seek pre-market approval from SFA for novel foods or foods that do not have a history of use as food. To facilitate the process for the companies, this Singapore Food Agency released a guidance document on the food safety information that will be required for assessment. Our work, however, cannot stop here. We must continue to adapt our regulatory efforts to the changing landscape. Hence, the Singapore Food Agency established an expert group on novel foods to provide scientific advice as SFA refines our regulatory framework. The expert group comprises leading scientists across multiple disciplines and they work with the Singapore Food Agency to ensure that safety assessments are rigorously reviewed and evaluated. To augment our efforts to nurture a safe food ecosystem here, the Singapore Food Agency and ASTAR and the Nanyang Technological University jointly established the Future Ready Food Safety Hub, or FRESH in short. FRESH serves as the Singapore's lead scientific platform to build up Singapore's food safety science in areas such as risk assessment and new food safety standards to enable greater regulatory responsiveness. Finally, on the third R, as the agri-tech industry innovates, it is important for Singapore to have a future-ready workforce that stays relevant. Over the next 10 years, new and upgraded jobs are expected to be created as Singapore pursues sustainable development. Skilled jobs will be created in the high-tech agriculture and aquaculture industry as Singapore works towards the 30 by 30 goal. As farms ramp up local production and embrace new technologies, we need people who are multi-skilled in plant science engineering and infocom technology. It is important that we continue to upskill and build a pipeline of every food sector workforce that is ready for these exciting opportunities. This Singapore Food Agency has been and will continue to work with the institutes of higher learning and local farms to seek programs to build up a pipeline of talent with industry relevant skill sets to attract more Singaporeans to join the sector the Singapore Food Agency is currently working with industry associations like SAFER and our local farms to match interested job seekers with available vacancies posted on the My Careers Future portal. In conclusion, the agri-food sector is rapidly transforming, driven by climate change, technological developments and evolving consumer food preferences. It is a timely opportunity for regulators industry and research institutions to collaborate on the three R's R&D innovation, regulations and right skilling to tap on green growth opportunities and attract more Singaporeans to join our Singapore food story journey. By strengthening our food resilience, we help sustain Singaporeans' access to and consumption of safe local food. 
I wish you a fruitful discussion ahead. Thank you.